Hello and welcome to Sam Biology class. Friends, today we shall discuss about the Bombay phenotype. Bombay phenotype, also known as the Bombay blood group, describes individuals with red blood cells lack the H antigen. This blood group, which is relatively rare, was first discovered by Dr. Y. M. Bhande along with his colleagues. Dr. H. M. Bhatia and Dr. G. K. Despande in Bombay, now known as Mumbai in India in 1952. In the absence of the H. antigen, which is also the precursor substance of the ABO antigen, individuals with Bombay blood group are not able to produce antigens A and B. So, these individuals are deficient in the H antigen and also A and B antigens. As a result, these individuals produce anti-H, anti-A and anti-B. Individuals with Bombay phenotype can be transfused with blood from another individual with Bombay phenotype. Transfusion of blood from an individual having any other blood group initiate a severe transfusion reaction. The Bombay phenotype and Parabombay phenotype are relatively rare. India in which the blood group was first discovered, the frequency of these two groups together is 1 in 10,000 people. H antigen deficiency is slightly more in Taiwan affecting 1 in 8000 people. Whereas in Europe, 1 in 1 million people have the Bombay phenotype. The biosynthesis of H antigen and A and B antigen involve a series of enzymes known as glycosyl transferases which transfer monosaccharides. The resulting antigens are oligosaccharide chains which remain attached to lipids or proteins that are anchored in the membrane of red blood cells. The H antigen is produced by specific fucosyl transferase. Depending upon the person's ABO blood type, the H antigen can be converted into A antigen or B antigen or A and B antigen. Whereas in individuals with O blood group, the H antigen remains unmodified. Therefore, the H antigen is present in highest amount in O blood group and in least amount in individuals with AB blood group. Two regions of the genome encode two enzymes with very similar substrate specificities. These two regions are H locus and C locus. H locus contains a few T1 gene and C locus contains a few T2 gene. These two genes are tightly linked and they are 35 kilobase apart. A FUT1 gene is expressed on red blood cells. To express H antigen on red blood cells, an individual must have at least one functioning copy of a FUT1. So, the genotype of the persons which express H antigen on red blood cells should be capital H by capital H or capital H by small h. When both copies are inactive then Bombay phenotype results. The second locus is C locus which contains a few T2 gene which is expressed in secretory glands. The H antigen coded by a few T2 gene is water soluble and is found in saliva and other body fluids. In order to express a FUT2 gene, the individual must have at least one functioning copy of a FUT2 gene. So, the genotype of the individual which has 
soluble H-antigen in the body fluid can be SE by SE or SE comma small SE. When both copies are inactive then the individual is not able to produce soluble H-antigens. The individuals in which soluble form of H-antigens are present are known as secretor and if absent then the individual is called as non-secretors. The classical Bombay phenotype is caused by tyrosine 316 termination mutation in the coding region of FUT1 gene. This mutation converts a normal codon into a termination codon thereby resulting in the synthesis of a truncated enzyme that lacks 50 amino acids at the carboxyl terminal end. In the presence of this mutation, the individuals become unable to synthesize the H-antigen, therefore it results in Bombay phenotype. Now some of the important characteristics of Bombay phenotype and para-Bombay phenotype. In Bombay phenotype, H antigen is not expressed on red blood cells. It is also not found in saliva. The serum contains anti H antibody and the genotype is small H by small H, small SC by small SE. Regarding para Bombay phenotype, in these individuals, H antigens are weakly expressed on red blood cells and in saliva H antigen may or may not be present and the serum of these individuals contain anti H antibody and the genotype can be H comma capital SC slash capital SE or capital SC slash small SE or small SE slash small s e. So friends this is all about Bombay phenotype. For more updates please subscribe my youtube channel Sam Biology Class. Thank you.